Okay, so uh, in 2008, uh, the Royal National Institute for the Blind set up an initiative to get all the Football League and Premier League clubs to provide commentary for partially sighted and blind supporters as kind of a drive to increase accessibility to games. And I think I think the campaign was kind of a bit of a mixed success, but Exeter were one of the clubs that embraced it. Um, I think originally the guy that started it up in 2008 he's now working for Times and he I think did it originally on his own and kind of since then it's been passed along so we yeah we provide for every every home league game and any cup game all the friendlies as well we provide 90 minute commentary of the game itself um, we commentator and a summariser um, and that's available I think from reception anybody can pick up the headphones and listen so it's a yeah, full full commentary from beginning to end um, of the game and that's basically what we do yeah sort of try and you know sort of give a bit of colour for those yeah. inside the ground sort of you know trying to make sure that what we're focusing on we're as much as we can actually describing what's yeah. going on, on on the pitch you know just something you know something I would like, ideally like to get into sort of sports journalism eventually somewhere in the future so it's sort of initially something just as a something that looks good on the CV it's a bit of you know, practical experience of you know, different kinds of you know journalism that you can say you, you know you've done sort of in radio commentary sort of a chart, you know, it's just to take different strings to your bow and show what you can do. Just a chance for you know people to pick up that experience to you know show you know something that they can do. That you know, it's not just you know they've, they've, they've put them, they've given up their time. They've gone, you know, watching for like you know comment, you know, done the done commentary, you know, for, for the benefit of others. Really, yeah. you, you know, without this service, I don't, you know, we're entirely sure. You know, the service has quite a lot of headsets. We fit within it's quite a lot of users, and without them. They'd be, they would, they wouldn't be able to get the full experience of coming and watching games of football. Yeah, so you know, we obviously, you know, doing the commentary, speaking into the headphones, it goes off through the radio system, and um, anyone in the ground can pick that up through a headset, as long as I presume if they're tuned yeah, to the right radio receiver. Channel, and receiver. Yeah. They can pick that up from um, reception at the start of the, get, the game. They just go in there, they'll ask for the headset, they provide it, and then they can sit and uh, hopefully enjoy listening yeah. to us during the game it is really easy I mean it's literally just a case of going to reception and I think it's all I think it's all tuned in set up for them so it's just a case of turning it on adjusting the volume listening and that's it I think from that point of view so to drive home that message this is a really good this is a really good service that is available and it, and it and it hopefully is really accessible for people so I think yeah it's a case of if you know somebody that might be interested uh, let them know and yeah if you're interested in getting involved in the conference side then get in, get in contact with Andy Gillard at the football club um, and I think uh, well we'll go from there the same place as this there's four or five champion players in the wall with Matt City player Matt Oakley's gone to join that wall and it's going to be Alex Nichols who bends it around the wall and it's a goal 